Welcome back. This Thursday marks the start of the New York Comedy Festival. It kicks off with a tribute show to Joan Rivers titled Dead Funny at the Apollo. And then over the course of 10 days, there will be more than 100 shows across all five boroughs. And one of them is called Comedy for Peace, happening at Comic Strip Live this coming Saturday, November 9th. Joining us now are comedians Eric Angel and Iman Morgan. Welcome to you both. Thanks so much for being here. Um, Eric, tell us a little bit about Comedy for Peace, because it's a show that you started several years ago. It's traveled the country, an interfaith show that brings together Jewish and Muslim comedians. And I wonder how October 7th of last year changed what it is that you do in bringing people together. Yeah, uh, good morning. First of all, thank you for, for having us. Uh, October 7 was a, it's a big tragedy and a life changer. But very fast, us, uh, the, the group in Comedy for Peace, we understood that for now it's even more important for us than ever uh, to bring uh, the people uh, together under one roof, different communities. And, uh, you know, just to go for it. It's not a political event. It was never a political event. It's just about being together, learning about each other. And uh, for now, even it's, I think for me, it's, it's the hardest year I ever had in, in my life. It's very sad, it's very painful. Uh, and, uh, you know, we're just getting together for one hour, two hours, and having fun and showing everyone how easy it's to do. Iman, I want to ask because I could see sort of uh, you answering it one of two ways. Is it uh, harder than ever to bring people together to make people laugh considering the times we're living through or are people more anxious for the escape to go somewhere for a couple hours and just uh, leave everything behind and just laugh? That's actually very interesting to ask because I think it's a combination of both. You get them to come but at the same time, they're also at ease because, or they're anxious because you don't, they don't know what the material is gonna come out of the comedians. So they're sitting there and it's difficult times and they're wondering, is this really gonna be, you know, what we paid for to see? Are we gonna have a good time? Or are they gonna touch on what they're, you know, showing in the media and what we're kind of grieving right now? Me personally, I like to make it a commitment to any show, it's like a moral obligation. For those two hours, I really want to remove their minds and their thoughts from the negativity that they see outside. And I'll do it. I, I don't like to touch even the boundaries of those subjects. I stay away and I have so much more to draw from. So therefore, for those two, or for the, the time that I'm on stage, I make sure that they're not thinking at it whatsoever. Because once they leave the show, it's back to where they're at. So I have that commitment that I promise myself that any show that I do, I'll remove them as much as I can. Uh, Eric, let me ask you, tickets are $20. A portion of those profits go to the Parents Circle, which helps uh, Palestinian and Israeli families who've lost loved ones. Tell us why you chose that organization. A Comedy for Peace is uh, collaborating with uh, this uh, uh, organization, the Parents Circle, for a few years now. For me, it's a beautiful uh, uh, cause. It's families that lost Unfortunately, something, uh, some family member to this uh, never-ending uh, tragedy, and they saying Israelis and the Palestinians, they say enough. There is a different way. Uh, we can talk about the things. We can solve it. We don't have to be violent. And we are collaborating with them for a few years now, and we're going to continue to do it. Well, um, uh, thank you both for being here, and thank you for what you're doing, uh, giving people a, a couple hours to escape and laugh and do it for, after all, a good cause. And um, I appreciate you telling us more about where you know those tickets are going to, and, and it sounds like a really worthwhile organization and cause. So thank you, guys. And thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Um, thanks for being here. Uh, once again, the show is coming uh, this Saturday, November 9th, at 8 o'clock at the Comic Strip Live. And when we come back, we will check in one more time with Zania Maldonado at the starting line of the New York City Marathon. She's speaking with a member of Fred's team, the person who kept her focused on her goal.